What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? It's your boy Kevin to turn on this motherfucking YouTube shit. Lin 13, man. Turn it, 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 turn it. Today? It's a motherfucking day. Great hood, not side crib, man. Hey, man, say, man. We turn out here, man, the north side, man. Me and Lenny, man. I hope y'all enjoy these videos, man. Kevin, two turn, man. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know your boy, now you know your boy now. Cause I don't see. In my last video, man, somebody was talking crazy. Talking about talking wow. You know what I'm saying? Come on, you about to run up. Nobody run up. You know what I'm saying? I'm waiting for the data for somebody to run up. You know what I'm saying? So we can get on camera and shit. See what's happening. You know what I'm saying? But um, you know how that goes, man. Make sure that's why you know I be always scoping the scene. Cause I know some niggas out here or some motherfuckers out here wanna get crazy, you know what I'm saying? You know, if I go against the 12, you know what I'm saying? The fuck the fuck the fuck 12, you know what I'm saying? White 12, all of them, fuck them, you know what I'm saying? But I go against the white boys, you know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers, I been going against these motherfuckers my whole life, you know what I'm saying? So, these niggas, be catching however they want to go to it, you know what I'm saying? Go crazy, however they want to do it, you know what I'm saying? But, hey man, you know, we all should, all should just try to promote the peace and shit, man. But if it come down to it, it come down to it, you know, kizzy, catch. But, hey man, free Congo and free Palestine, man, you know what I'm saying? You know how we coming, man. Uh, make sure I like subscribe to bitch, man, and yeah, we out you, man. All right. Today? <clears throat> Come up the day, straight hood and outside crib, man. Hey, man, say, man, we out here, gang, 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 man. So, we've been talking about Tyrese um, Gibson, man. Tyrese Gibson, man. Tyrese Gibson, you did. He been in a tough situation. You know what I'm saying? Reese, but in the, well, he been in a lot of tough situations, but this situation was a tough situation. Well, I think one of the hardest situation he had. So, one of his little bitties he was talking to, you know what I'm saying? Um, I guess her name was Samantha or some shit. The one he got divorced with, his ex-wife. Ex-wife slash baby mama. So, she got online, you know what I'm saying, to talk about how she fucked up. And, you know, hoes don't figure that, that out until it's too late. You know what I'm saying? Hoes don't figure out that they fucked up until it's too late. You know what I'm saying? Until a nigga don't got nothing else left for him to, 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 you know what I'm saying? Try to play around and goof about. So. So, um. She went on internet, on, on did an interview and talk about how her friends and her attorney was the main one telling tell her to get real, Tyrese, and that she should pay 12. I mean, not 12, pay the, um, pay the motherfucking, um, child support. You know what I'm saying? 12 just came, 12 came through this bitch and my ops at the same time. You know what I'm saying? 12 went. 12 come through the 12 come through this bitch, then the ops come through this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Crazy shit, nigga. Y'all be saying, oh, you don't have no ops. Nigga, I nigga always got some ops. If you got any type of motion, you got ops. Let's be honest, man. That's factual. That's why I, that's why I stay protected at all times. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, you think I won't have to throw me? Crazy as hell, man. But um, uh, this the hood. <laughs> but yeah, man, so. He, she, she, he basically was trying to, she was basically trying to get that nigga to pay the boatload to her. And Tyrese basically responded to her and said, are you retarded? Come on, because she was saying to her friends, of course the attorney going to be like, um, divorce that nigga. You pay them niggas. <laughs> you know what I mean? Y'all pay them niggas. Of course. Come on, they be like, nah, I don't think you should divorce. I don't think you should divorce that nigga. Like, Why? They ain't making no money on it. You tell them niggas to divorce that nigga, they gonna divorce that nigga. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? They ain't to make money on it. <laughs> Fuck. And of course your best friend gonna be like, divorce. 
Bitch, they, they solid because they ain't in a relationship. What are we talking about? You gain a nigga who got million or however much money they got, but it's enough. And then, of course, they'll be like, nah, don't, don't, don't fuck with that nigga. They want that nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, Tyrese, she's fine and said, you just, you know what I'm saying? To my house, she's just a money hungry bitch and all this shit, man. And she came back and responded and, and said some shit too, man. Y'all gotta watch the video and. You know, he with his new girl now. And I think that's why she come, she's trying to come back. Because he with his new girl. So, you know, you know how that be, man. They see, you, they see you with somebody new or you doing positive. They gonna try to come back. You know, I don't have, I don't have my bit, ex bit, try to come back to me. You know what I'm saying? And that's the main one, like, if y'all know what's, if y'all know, y'all know. That was the main one that I was like, kind of made me go like crazy, like through a spiral and shit. And, you know, look, I'm back, you know what I'm saying, out here, you know what I'm saying, real nigga type shit. And so, I did, I said, fuck no, bitch, you took them ass back, bitch, fuck what we talking about, you know what I'm saying, bitch, try to add me back and try to, bro, we, we not doing that, you know what I'm saying, so, if you fuck over, you gone, bitch, because you probably got ran through a whole bunch of times, nigga not coming back to your ass, and that's what he was trying to tell to that bitch. So, we got the video, man, hope y'all enjoyed the video, man, make sure you like and subscribe to the videos, and we out this bitch. I filmed the video, uploaded the video, video was on the internet, so imagine being the butt of every joke, memes, all your homies, friends, people that ain't your friends, clowning, joking, and guess what? Because I'm a bit of a troll myself, I would have probably been clowning the motherfucker too. I'm at $13,000 a month, what more do you want from me? Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. My Shayla. My Shayla. And ain't nobody showing up for me. I got all these millionaire friends. I got billionaire friends. I've been there for you. Why nobody's there for me? I'll yeah. admit, I probably looked at it a little, <clears throat> little less intensely as I should have. Mm. That's me looking back on it, um, because I would never tell. I, I I work with women. I would never tell a woman to walk through that in the same frame of mind I was in when I did it. I was very, <clears throat> very hurt. I was very angry, and. I remember like when I made like the, the decision, I was like hysterically crying mm. on the phone with my attorney. That was not wow. the person I should have been on the phone with when like, that's a whole nother conversation. But anyway, I was hysterically crying and I was not in any position to make that decision. I was extremely emotionally intoxicated. Mm. We can be intoxicated with our emotions and I'm one that I'm very much emotionally led. I feel very strongly. I'm just that kind of person, very passionate. But um, I would never tell somebody to make that decision when they're that emotional. But of course I was, and I wasn't talking to someone that genuinely would be for marriage, you know, or, or for reconciliation. And that's not, to, that's not no slight to my, you know. No, it's, it's the current, the current it's not, Yeah, it has nothing. There's no slight to that. It, not the friends, but I was on the phone with my attorney. Yeah. So it, it was something that was being said to me that hurt me at that time. And that... um so at that time when I was on the phone and I made that decision, I was, I was, I was, I was livid. And so I, if, if anything, if I could take anything from that and advise somebody else, because I don't want families to be torn apart. Yeah. It would be that if you're that hurt and you're like that emotional about someone, that's not a lack of love. Like the opposite of love is not hate. 
It's indifference. It's void of love, void of feelings. Mm. And so if I'm that emotional and I'm that hurt and I'm like on that level where I'm just like, I can't stop thinking and I'm just obsessing over why I am hurt. I have, I'm, I, if it's misguided and misdirected, it can go in, in a bad direction. And so I think that with that being said, I didn't know that at the time. Yeah. And I made a decision like, well, I'm so angry. I'm so hurt. And you know, this is, you know, and I'm just like, you know, forget it, you know, like, never mind. Like I need to be done with this. This is horrible. You know, just all you just ruminating on all the negative things and not, focused on any of the positive things. I posted a, um, a reel and I mean this, I, I, I really mean this. There was a, there was a guy who was talking about the, that when he, before he decided to marry his wife, he had said, or had told um, his wife that he needed to choose the people that would speak to her in her most emotional moments. Mm. And he would, it was people that would be for the relationship. Right. And I know a lot of people had different kind of like comments about the person and everything like that. But the message of what he was saying for me resounds true because the people I had in my ear at the time were not for that. Tyrese responds to ex Samantha Lee saying she was peer pressured into divorce. Man, I was not going to respond to this video of my ex that's now gone viral. She is loving it. Congratulations, you went viral again over something else that you said because you're trying to build up your YouTube page and get your followers up. Listen, man, listen. If you had people in your ear, that influenced you into leaving your husband and your one-year-old child, your innocent one-year-old child. We both were divorcee kids, grew up in toxic environments, torn in between our old family, new family, stepfather, stepmother. That's a life that we both lived. And you packed up a one-year-old, put a mask on top of the rain cameras and I was literally in an airplane on my way home to fight for my marriage and my family you're heartless none of your friends recognize you this is all about money if you had friends in your ear you're lying you're gaslighting you're playing the only person that was in your ear was your mama her name is Patricia Randolph you didn't have people in your ear. The amount of people that was supposedly in your ear, you also had a whole lot of people like Aventer Gray, Taffy Dollar, Creflo Dollar's wife, who married us. You had a whole lot of people in your ear telling you that you're about to do something stupid, impulsive, and y'all are actually not going through anything that would make you want to leave your husband. Let's go even further. When Aventer Gray and Pastor John Gray were having their own marital issues at the time, you arranged a therapy session with Aventer Gray at our house. And when she walked out of her therapy session, she walked into the foyer where the bumblebee is, and there was 50 boxes with like seven or eight people there packing up all the shit to leave the house. And I was in an airplane on my way home to try and fight and save our marriage. So if you had people in your ear at the time, they must be still in your ear because you still trying to get $20,000 a month for a five year old. You make $160,000 a year on your own. This is all a game. You're clout chasing. You're something that I don't even know. A simple woman, not into materialistic things, don't want, don't care about fame and mansions and popularity. You're everything that you told me and all of your friends and loved ones that you wasn't. If you wanted to be famous, boo-boo, that's all you had to say. 
You didn't have to play this game that you wasn't. Now you are here playing on single mothers and their emotions, playing on women that are actually in abusive relationships and fucked up marriages that are toxic and dark and dysfunctional. That's not what, what, what that was. You think I would have a song entitled, I don't think you ever loved me, if I didn't really feel that way? You think I would have a song out called Love Transaction, if I didn't realize that it was never love, it was just a transaction? This shit is about money. You've hired three law firms trying to <laughs> me dry. I'm approaching a million dollars in legal fees, and we had a prenup. You already tried to ask me to come back. You already tried to reconcile. I told you I was in a relationship with Zelly and I was not willing to go and break this off or cut this woman off because you decided to wake up on a Wednesday and come back and play in the sandbox. Everything about the way you left me was heartless. It was evil. You never considered me your marriage, and let alone your innocent one-year-old child. She had to celebrate her second birthday apart. And if you really are really suddenly caring about the effects that you've had on me and your family, why don't you sit these fucking lawyers off of me? Call your lawyers right now and tell them that everything that you're still trying to get right now, you don't want it no more. $20,000 a month for a child? Our prenup says no alimony. Our prenup said everything that the prenup said. You're trying to crack the prenup. And it's been three years of it. I should have never hired a an attorney. I had a prenup. Everything that I was supposed to give you in the prenup, I gave it to you. You want more. And it's been three years. I've moved on. I'm with Zelly. You moved on. I don't even want to tell niggas the first nigga you started dating when we broke up. Because you're going to go viral from that. If I were to tell niggas who you started dating as soon as we broke up, you would go viral from that. All you want is attention. You want Facebook followers. You want Instagram followers. You're trying to be a life coach and you're trying to get niggas to drink the Kool-Aid. you fucking with a real one right here. Everybody can see through your bullshit. I may be alpha, I may be loud, I may appear to be a narcissist, as some say in the comments. Girl, you was good to leave that, he's a narcissist. No, she's a narcissist. Not only is she a narcissist, but she's a sociopath as well. And what is a sociopath? Someone who will maliciously and vindictively do some shit, fuck over you, hurt you, be made aware of the fact that they inflicted trauma and pain on you and not even call you and text you to say they sorry. Did you think about the effects that it was gonna have on me or our innocent child when you left me the way you did? Did you think about anything? No, it's all about Samantha. So now, go ahead and chase whatever career you're trying to chase. Go ahead and go viral. Go ahead and keep doing your goofy ass podcast and Miracle Mondays and whatever the fuck else you're trying to build. Over here, I don't want no one to confuse me releasing songs the way Adele released songs about her ex-husband, the way Jasmine Sullivan and Mary J. Blige released songs about their exes when they get cheated on, lie, get over when they go through painful relationships that come to an end. I don't want no one to confuse me releasing songs, singing about how I feel about Samantha with confusing me wanting this woman back. If I wanted her back, I would have got her back. I don't want Sam. She may be saying that she was thinking about, no, if you had people in your ear when you left me, those same people are in your ear three years later because the lawyers are still on my back every day. Go sell this shit to somebody else. Look at every interview I've done, from Sway in the Morning, to The Breakfast Club, to everything that I've been posting and everything that I've been saying. And if you don't like me, I don't like you. 
I don't need none of you women in my comments saying they like me. I don't care to be liked. I got my heart broke. I was married. I was with this woman for five years. I never cheated. I got more access to shit than most as I know. I was a good man, a good husband, and very, very focused on my family and my children. And the twenty-five or twenty-six hundred dollars that I was giving Samantha since she decided to leave me, I was giving her that for two years straight without a court order. Be sure to like comment and subscribe find somebody else that's gonna cut a check for twenty six hundred dollars without the judge making a judgment for you to do so i'll always take care of my kids she's trying to turn a prenup into alimony which she ain't getting she's trying to get something that she's not getting because the prenup is protecting me Dad. and she's yes Lower your voice, sir. okay so at the end of the day, man, listen, I am not here to have any of y'all to keep drinking the Kool-Aid. Y'all are going to have to wake up and understand that when re relationships and marriages ends, contrary to what the world believes, it ain't always a cheating man who's verbally and physically abusing you, fucking over you, doing something. It's very simple. If it ain't about Samantha, it ain't about nothing. I guess being in a relationship with a big personality and an entertainer, which she signed up for, made her cave, slowly but surely cave. Her mama was the one who was like, oh, we did it, like we hit the lottery type shit. I'm not gonna allow this to be twisted. I took accountability in that interview. I don't, I don't take anything back that I said. Um, you take, you, when you grow and you learn, and you're in relationships with people and you go from those relationships and you grow from those relationships, you, you have to take accountability for what you did and your part in it. It's not healthy to always blame other people. You have to own your stuff and let that be that. And that's what I'm going to do. And so I can, you can, you can say whatever you want about me. Um, you can say whatever you want. Most of you guys don't know half of the story. You don't need to know half of the story. All you need to know is that I took accountability and I'm glad that I did. I'm happy that I did. Um, I don't take that back. No matter how, how crazy it's gotten. <laughs> I would never seen that coming, but, um, I'll take it back. So cool. Uh, but you know, again, you can't ask people to you can't, I can't go on my platform and I can't say that, um, ask for people to take accountability for their actions and I don't take accountability for mine. Um, and so at the end of the day, I'm always, I, I, I can't, I can't preach, oh, accountability, take accountability, take accountability or at, or say women should take accountability and I don't. Um, I think that it's important for me too, without, without shading somebody else, without saying, Oh, they did this or they did that. And a lot of times we can get into that. We can get into blame shifting and, and doing a lot of things instead of just sitting in that seat and just saying, you know what? There are things I could have done better. And hopefully somebody can learn from my mistakes. Tyrese surprises girlfriend Zilly Timothy with a Range Rover Defender for her 28th birthday. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on down. Come on. It's okay. Right here. Come on. Come on, baby. No. Come on. Come on. You got you this. Guys.
sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Some of y'all, some of y'all got it all figured out. Some of y'all are just perfection. Let me tell y'all something. I, I know. You're rich, you're famous, you got money, big personality, you're an alpha. Oh, King Kong, silverback. I hope y'all understand that I am as vulnerable as any man you have ever met. Whew. I'm still trying to figure out a name for baby girl. <laughs> what should I name her? I need some help. Just now waking up. And... I'm about to go back to sleep, <laughs> but I'm waking up to let you guys know that you are truly something special, that you are blessed no matter what you're going through. You got this. God got you. You got this. That's all I have to say as I go back to sleep. <laughs> But have a great day, have a great morning, have a great night, wherever you are in the world. You got this. I mean, movie. Kissing a girl on the cheek, is that okay? On the cheek? Yeah, like this. Mm. You know that's not how it's gonna go. So is it gonna be out of these three? Is it gonna go like, mm? No, we're is not it doing gonna that. Go like, mm? No, it's is not it gonna, gonna be that go easy. Like, mm? It's not gonna be like any one so of the three. So which one? My whole, my lips are wet right now. Which one? Show me. Which kiss is mm -hmm. you gonna? Which kiss are Babe, you giving her? I'm gonna her? kiss this act. I don't even know who the actress is. I'm gonna How kiss her. I'm gonna on kiss her. her. Like this. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how you're gonna kiss her. That is how. Show me how you're gonna kiss her. <laughs> Show me how this kiss is supposed to go. <laughs> this woman is in my closet. Look, she will no, not. Why are you in my closet handing me oh, up no. about a scene in a movie? Why won't you show me? I'm gonna, I just showed you. I'm gonna kiss her like this. No. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. You want me to kiss her like that? No, I want you to tell me how you're gonna kiss her. That's how I'm gonna kiss her. Like that. No, babe. Show me on the lips, babe. <laughs> you know that's what it's gonna be. Kiss me like it. Uh, <laughs> no. Show me. No. Oh, oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm so tired. I got to go night night. I got to go to sleep, babe. Mm -hmm. It's time to go to sleep. Go put your pajamas on. Mm -hmm. I'm not kissing her like that. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> no. You gonna close your eyes? Am I gonna close my eyes when I kiss this mm -hmm. random actress? Yes. Yes. Yes, you no. are. Yes, you are. Why would I kiss? Why? If, if I close my eyes when I kiss her, that means I'm really into what I'm doing. Exactly. Right, so do I'm going to do like this. You're quote-unquote acting. I'm going to do like this. That's mm. weird, though. Mm. No, you have to close your eyes. Well, my, my character is on... <laughs> <laughs> no, mm. you have to close your eyes when you kiss people. <laughs> all right. All right, all right, we're done. Thank you. No, babe, we're all not right. getting off this till you show me how what? to kiss her. I am not going. It go says, lock eye. It says what? Kiss. What about the rest of the script? Did you read the rest? I <laughs> 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 okay, hey, y'all, uh, I got a, I got a movie coming up, <laughs> and I gotta, I gotta kiss two girls in this movie. And Zelly is not having it. 
Babe, hmm? it's a movie. It's acting. Okay. It's make believe. Mm -hmm. it... And actors and actresses fall in love every day. So on movie sets, mm -hmm. do they really? Mm -hmm. huh. So that's why I'm trying to understand how you're supposed to kiss this person. That's never happened with me. Okay, well I still want to know. Okay, so this gonna it's gonna be a kiss like this. Mm -hmm. No, babe, it's not. Okay, what's it gonna be? Mm -hmm. Okay, you think it's gonna be like that? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Well then, show me. I just showed you. No, you didn't. <laughs> That's it. Okay, so let's say if you were to kiss an actress on the lips, how would you do it? On the lips? Mm -hmm. Okay, I would kiss her like this. Three, two, one, action. Come on, get up. You are funny. Get up. Get up. No, Come that's on. not how you're gonna kiss her. Tequila sh <laughs> it's Tequila sh He's gonna kiss her like this. Like what? Mm. Ain't nobody kissing me like that. <laughs> Ain't no way. Whatever. Ain't nobody kissing me like that. Okay, well. Give see. me a spin, baby. Give me okay. a spin. My God. Look at that. <laughs> Jesus. Mm. Whatever. Hope all is well, wherever y'all are in the world, man. Love is love. Babe, I'm about to spark one. I love you. I love you. You putting the pajamas on? I am. Do we have any matching pajamas? Not here. No? Mm -mm. LA, mm. we do. Not here. Mm. <sighs> <laughs> oh, my God. Tequila. See that? Today in my neighborhood, would you be my neighbor? <laughs> oh man, look at that, look at that, look at that. This was a woman that was very simple, who I met in a $12 sundress and prided herself on being simple. And I don't care right. about money, stars, celebrities, I don't need to live and be around. This is not, I'm a simple girl. Now you want $20,000 a month for a one year old? Now you've hired three law firms? My prenuptial agreement <clears throat> was so detailed and so extensive. My lawyer whispered, she had her own lawyer to negotiate on her behalf. Mm. My lawyer, Tanya Mitchell Graham said to me, I can't believe you got her to sign this. And I said, well, the reason I got her to sign it is because she said to me specifically, this ain't mine. Mm. That's your publishing. Those are your cars. It's your house. Mm. And if we ever separated because <clears throat> I didn't get in this for any of that, I will sign every piece of paperwork that reflects that I don't want none of that. To then want nothing more than to show nigga that that's all she wants. I looked at it and I said, God sent me this woman because I'm laughing, I'm flirting, I got butterflies in my stomach, I'm in love with this woman, best sex I ever had, best chemistry of any woman, of any vibe. The question to you, smart No, hey, that's enough. You go sit down, we're taking a break, lawyers back now. Mm -hmm. Slid in the DMs. Yeah. We linked up. He wasn't my type at all. We my type was actually Paul Walker recipes. <laughs> but I. <laughs> he wasn't my type at all. And my type don't, is not white. I'm just saying don't. I was more interested. Don't in touch me. Paul and every fast and furious. Don't touch me. So you wanted the homie. Else. You didn't want me. You said I'm old. Mm -hmm. You know all this already. I wasn't your type either. So relax. And um, yeah, so now we're here. It's like an actual love story. Can I tell you a really cool story that, oh, the, the one of the uh, recent interview guys said, when is the last time you cried? And I forgot about this. It's not even sad, but it was just a moment. So we were just in Vegas. We went to this big convention called CinemaCon, where they, they invite all the theater owners from around the world to come out. So then we go to the after party. 
As soon as I got to the front desk, my heart started fluttering. I'm like, what am I feeling? Because I, I do have anxiety, but it's like, what am I feeling? So as I walk into the restaurant, I look to the left, and I was like, oh my God, this is the booth that I took a picture with Paul at. And the after party for CinemaCon was at the same location. So everybody from the whole movie was there, and Paul was there with us. And I had not thought about that photo or where we took the photo until I seen it. And it was a moment. And I, I went and sat way over there. I got to the party early. I was like, okay, Paul is here, got it. You know, so it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's real. You know, we miss him every day. Couldn't be happy that metal was in the movie. Yeah. All right, you see one of that video, man? Samantha, you was a bozo. Now, you thought 20K was going to be enough for your little feet, your little baby to uh, cover it. But you don't understand that sometimes money can't cover everything in your life. And that's all the time, you can never come with nothing in your life. So, you risk your relationship and lost the bag to try to get a, your own bag, and then you look like a goofball because nobody like believe in what you fucking saying. And Tyrese was just went off on your dumb ass. You know what I'm saying? Tyrese Gibson's not playing, bro. You know what I'm saying? He like. He sees from the block. I think he's listening. I think that nigga done got, got all the goofballs out of his head. And he gonna finally listen to what the people were saying and saying that she was using you. You know what I'm saying? That's what hoes do. You got the bag, you win it, they gonna use you. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why I said he think it was like a transaction race, relationship instead of a real relationship. They gonna use you. You know what I'm saying? They gonna use you. They don't use you, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, yeah, it, 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 sometimes you, it takes it takes a moment because, you know, you could be in love or you could be feeling this person so much and you be blind by the love and you be like, man, or by whatever they trying to show, like, ain't no way she using me. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, you be like, we fucking with each other. How could she be using, nigga? Man, Tyree got all the clout. You know, that's probably what he's thinking, got all the clout. Got the bag, got the nice whatever, but and then you know you treat the bit kind of right, and you're not cheating on the bit. Why would you? You know what I'm saying? But you know, females they get they get caught up, they get caught up in this stupid ass shit. You know what I'm saying? They be thinking they little pea brain head asses. They think like, man, if I just get my own bag, fuck that nigga. I just need a little bit of a bag. Damn it, you was in the prenup. So I don't know if. If the video, because I know I posted a video on this bit by he he getting ordered to pay 10k. And that's I guess that's why he was crying. You know what I'm saying? Like, bruh, ain't no damn way these preamps not working like that. You know, ain't no way you paying 10k for a child support a month. Like that's that's ridiculous. It, and he like, ain't no way you love this nigga. If you're talking about you want 20k a month for a, a, a one month year old baby, what the fuck you need 20? What the fuck do you need 20k for a one month old baby or even a year, two year, three year baby? Like you ain't no ain't no damn way we can buy like three cars, four cars, five cars, you can buy like a thousand dollar cars, six cars or some shit. The fuck are we doing? You know what I'm saying? And he he know it's a clout game to get to get the motherfucking um to get the motherfucking um bag and build her career up and shit, man. You know it, man. He, that's why he ain't trying to really give her too much attention because, you know, he, 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 he like, man, he like, why would you, why would he go back to you and he got this other bitch and she cooler and shit and, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, he can't trust that bitch too because y'all see from the video. That's the bitch who was like, oh, she she wanted Paul Walker over Tyree. But, hey, he, I guess he ain't fucking with by that whole um, Jeep and shit, man. You know what I'm saying? I think that nigga was hurt. Bottom line, man, you can't trust none of these hoes. But Tyrese, I guess Tyrese is getting comfortable with the bit because he did a movie, he did a movie roles and shit, and she come out, oh, you, you kissing another female and all this shit. You know how that goes, man. 
So she probably mad or some shit, or she probably kind of feeling it. You know what I mean? But it's crazy because it's like, you know, females don't really, I think it takes a, a girl three months to six months for her to show who, who she really is. You know what I'm saying? And people say girls don't show themselves until you get married. Or you get them or you get them hoes pregnant. That's when they show who they really is, cause they always be trying to play a game until they get what they want and shit, man. And so man, it's like, you know, she out here, man, that's why he was mad, because she's like, she trying to play the victim. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my best friends, they told me to break up with him, and my attorney told me to break up with him, and whoop the whoop whoop. Like, bro, nobody listening to that bullshit. shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could be saying, like, Crip, you could be saying that, oh, they told you to break up with you, but something in your mind was like, you gotta listen to him. She's like, she, she was like, they played out of at her weakness. You know me, of course. Of course, the, the bitch beside you be like, don't divorce that nigga. She not married, of course. That's what that's what females best friends do. They 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 stop good things. Oh, uh, good things happen because they be trying they be trying to get them to feel themselves. They're like, bro, you 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 doing goof goofy moments. You know what I'm saying? They're doing goofball ass moments, man. You know what I'm saying? And you know how that goes, man. They do goof they do goofball ass shit, man. And they expect they expect the man to have some sympathy, bitch. Ain't no fucking sympathy when you trying to get probably over a million by the time the bitch get by the time the little kid get eighteen. You know what I'm saying? You gonna do all that, I, man? I would have been like, you gonna do all that, man? Just give me the motherfucker, bro. Give me a nanny or whatever and watch that bitch. Ain't no damn way you a bitch think they gonna get a million out of a nigga. You know what I'm saying? Just because they open the legs, crazy shit, man. And the judge, you know them whole ass judges, them white judges, they gonna. They gonna let everything slide and shit. You know what I'm saying? They, you know, they, they already hate the black man, so they gonna try to get everything to, to the woman. So, you know what I'm saying? So they can make them look weak and shit. But you know how that goes, man. You know, you can't you can't trust the court system, man. The court system is a bunch of bu bunch of bu bullshit. And especially when you know, um, especially when you know your own law and shit, man. You know the rules and shit, man. That's when they try to get on your head the most because you're like, oh, oh, he think he's smart. You know what I'm saying? So they try to delivery try to fuck you over. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, you know your own rights and shit. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers are crazy, man. I'm still waiting for somebody to pull up, man, because, you know what I'm saying? I've been ready. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? I've been ready. You know what I'm saying? But that's how it goes, man, you know. Shit crazy, man. Um, But... I, I, I know Samantha mad, his ex baby mama, she mad because, nigga, he done bought the other bitch a, a Jeep. She staying in his, his cribs and shit, getting the shit that she wanted. She ain't living that lifestyle no more. She, no nigga want to fuck with her no more. That's why I be trying to tell these hoes. Y'all be fucking up good situations. Y'all be thinking y'all the, the, the prizes and shit. Y'all don't understand that the man is... This one to eight. If you don't know what one to eight mean, it means it's one dude to eight women. How is the woman the prize when the man is like, it's only one man. So it's obvious the man the prize. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, of course, the female's going to have a lot of niggas too. But it's just like as as far as the, the, the how many men it is type shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like... Females don't understand. They be, they be boosted up by their own ego and they trying to keep narcissists. They boosted up by their own ego and shit. You know, oh, I'm missing that. And they fuck their own stuff out of their out of blessing trying to, get a little, trying to get a little lick. You know what I'm saying? That shit don't last too long. You know what I'm saying? Because you're going to spend that money or do whatever and be in the same spot you was in again. So look at that. She in the same spot she in trying to get some money on and now she back at trying to go with Tyrese and Tyrese said, fuck no, bitch. Hit the high, hit the high you post on my ass. Put your dumb ass on somewhere, man. We hard on thoughts, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Hard on thoughts, man. Ain't no damn way we let a hoe who try to hoe us and finesse, you know what I'm saying? Come back in and try to be like, oh, I'm back. After I'm fucked like three, four niggas, I'm back. What's up? <laughs> like the fuck, you know what I'm saying? Like, the hoes gotta be crazy. Like, I'm thinking like, I'm saying, if a bitch says she broke up with you, and if she says she broke up with you, I'm giving it three days. Even, after, even during three days, she come back, bitch, what you been doing? A week? What 
the fuck you been doing? Two weeks, we done. Ain't no damn way. Cause she probably been fucking like three, four niggas who been trying to fuck with her. You know what I'm saying? She just need a break cause she don't want she don't want to be in that situation or, or being um talking like you know what I'm saying, relationship state, they wanna be free. You know what I'm saying? And look at a bit, getting ran through, see them pushing it out, busted, beat down, cause Tyrese didn't wanna tell who she been with after they broke up. Pussy got beat down. Now she gonna come back and she don't have her, her fun again. Ran through. Ain't, ain't nothing sweet. Unless you gonna be part of the team where you gonna be a runner. You know what I'm saying? Unless you gonna be a runner. Unless you gonna be a runner. Ain't no damn way. You gonna you gonna um come back and, and, and be like, I ain't done. Bitch, you gonna be a runner or you gonna um uh, be part of the team, bitch. You gonna be the the second bitch, and you gonna stay in the, and you stay in the, like you know what I'm saying, like bro, ain't no damn way, man. You know you did, and motherfuckers don't understand that until it's too late. You know what I'm saying? Everything is the grass is green on the other side. That's why I'm trying to tell people, man. Just because people got the shiny teams, the nice materials, um, they look like they happy. Don't mean they happy. You know what I'm saying? They just got a nice team, man. Sometimes you know, you get to that point, you be like, damn. These nice teams that the nigga wanted to work that hard for and don't even want it. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes, you know, you just got to do all in the, like, motivation or, like, you know, you just do something to be spontaneous and have fun or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes, because if you focus on the money on or the materials to sit, man, you get lost in this shit, man. You know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers, man, they get, some motherfuckers get to that spot, man, where they, um, where they thought they wanted to be and not even like it, man. You know what I'm saying? Look at that nigga Robert. That nigga who was the actor. What are these niggas at, man? And he was like, um, he was the actor and he killed himself because he was a prince. Sometimes when you get that money, man, it don't even make your life better, man. You just feel like you just feel more empty because it's like, you know, you uh, you know, moved away. Sometimes you change your whole people you be with because you know they, you know it's a higher elevation, mean higher thinking. And if you're the fourth, and if you if you round four millionaires, you'll be the fourth millionaire. Like, and you change your fr- your friends, and them niggas they turn out to be fake ass niggas. Then you know you by yourself, and you you don't trust nobody. And you like, you know what I'm saying? You thinking your friends they 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 just want money and shit. So he's like, you know, you go through teams, man. And it's like. Man, sometimes, you know, that shit not even the best, the best option, option situation, man. And, you know, these females, man, they just, they, I'm telling you, man, they just think about themselves and they just want the money. They don't care if you get injured. You know, and that's, that's funny, man. It's like they don't come back until you start winning. When they feel like you down and out or you, you at your lowest moment, they can go, cock it. They will. But then you feel like, you tell me, like, bitch, you actually trying to fuck the nigga up. They be like, ah, nah, that was just a game. Let me come back in. I was just playing around. Bitch, fuck no, bitch. You trying to end a nigga life. And you like, you like, oh, like everything is okay. I can, I don't understand females. I don't. I don't, I don't understand females. How you gonna try to fuck a nigga over? A whole nigga didn't be like, I'm back. Like nothing ever happened. Like that's just goofy. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and, I, and you know, that's why you gotta be the, you gotta stand tall and be like, man. Fuck no, nigga. Fuck what y'all about. And just keep it pushing because you don't want any negative energy in your life, man. That's all it is. At the end of the day, be negative energy. And they try to put that negative energy back on you and because they mad and sad. You know what I'm saying? So you can't let, no, you can't let another person mad and sad to get you mad and sad because that's their whole plan. You know what I'm saying? Especially when they try to finesse, steal from you, try to play you, um, cheat on you, goofy shit. You know what I'm saying? Retarded shit. You know, just sometimes you got to be the bigger man and just walk away from the situation, man. You did, and you know that's how I try to handle our life, the real life, and to females like crip or to people like bitch. If I if I ain't fucking with you, I ain't fucking with you. You know what I'm saying? And if you got a problem, run up. You know what I'm saying? That's how I be trying to tell you niggas, man. If they got a problem, run up. Like I've been waiting. I, that's why. I, that's why my side. That's why I'm waiting for niggas to pull up. I, I've been waiting. You know what I'm saying? Like I wouldn't be out in the middle of the, oh, outside if I wasn't. You know what I'm saying? Like come on, man. But you know, I hope y'all enjoyed these video, man. Tyree. Uh, look like he happy, man. Even with the bitch who trying to say she's like Paul Walker. Look like he happy, man. Tyreek, I don't know if he's trying to get a little get back or <laughs> you know what I'm saying, but look like he's doing good, man. Uh, they having a good, uh, good relationship. You know, he trying to give her all the shit. Man, I don't know about giving these hoes shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know what I mean? They be taking that shit too literal. Like, you know how that shit goes. I mean, y'all know how that shit goes. We've been, we've been talking about that shit. Faithfully. You know what I'm saying? You get a hoes something that 
turn around and be like, you ain't nothing been up in form. You know what I mean? That's how I be, man. But hey man, keep y'all away first, man. Stay protected out here, man. Always stay protected and prepared or just with the hands or whatever. And you know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all um keep on fucking with your boy, man. We keep on doing our little thing, man. We'll come out to the mama, man. Fuck around. What they talking about? Um, make sure y'all like, make sure y'all like, try this shit. Big Crip, yes sir. Um, and you know what I'm saying? Hey, the white man, you know what I'm saying? They trying to put the foot on the neck. Can't, cause I'm fighting back. The op, you know, they, they hating. They won't put the foot on the neck. I ain't giving them a chance. So you know what I'm saying? That's how we doing it, man. Make sure y'all like and subscribe, bitch. And we out, bitch. Hood and all side. Big Crip shit. Dang shit. Hey, Dad, you know what I want. Mean. We need to talk about this shit. Be legendary. You know this is instrumental. You the engineer on it, so. Kodak everywhere.